Hi everyone, it's Raziel K and I'm back with another toy and toy hacks review because I'll do both because this is Shockwave a from the Cyber Battalion line which was a very limited release from what I understand I only saw Sideswipe and Jetfire um, and they didn't look that great but Shockwave actually did look good but you know you open the box and he's not even I don't even know if he was you know attach or anything it was just empty box with a couple instructions uh it was a very very um cheap line i'm sorry but it was uh compared to what we got later with war for cybertron but he looked good enough for me to pick him up because he was only 20 bucks instead of 70 for the siege release which i didn't want to pick up anyway because of all the extra stuff that came with shockwave and i i'm not gonna buy figure and then store half of it and so this one was good enough for me um, i always liked shockwave you know i wasn't a ma massive fan but i like his gun mode which of course this is not uh, gonna transform into a gun but uh, i when i saw that there was some toy hacks labels for him couldn't resist you know i just want to improve this figure a little bit and um but i think he already he looks good so we're gonna take a quick look at uh, the figure and then i'll apply the toy axe I do want to invite you to check my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, where I take a look at voice actors who voice Transformers characters, right now finishing up on G1. So let's play the intro and uh, take a look at this figure. Megatron. Cybertron shall remain as you leave it. Let's take a look at the figure before I apply the toy axe decals. It's a very simple figure. Uh, that's what I would say. Let's remove the decals for now. Uh, the head, you know, doesn't rotate. Oh, yo, nope, sorry. I just found out it does rotate slightly. The arms would rotate uh, 360 if it wasn't for the Cable in the back. There's no knee band at all, but there is a. Actually, it's not because of how it's done. Uh, because of this joint here, it doesn't rotate. So that's anyway pretty uh, limited. Uh, you have a toe rotation, I guess, because of transformation. Everything that moves is because of transformation. You have uh, the elbow band. Cannon. The cannon actually you can unpeg because of transformation. See, it's that's the theme here, uh, and uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, he looks, uh, he's the correct color, and uh, he looks uh, the part for uh, a shockwave. Uh, if you look at the back, uh, he's super hollow. It's thin plastic. Uh, nope, forgot to put. That's uh, the landing gear when he's transformed. And uh, yeah, not much to it really. Um, he's actually uh, taller than uh, the, the War for Cybertron line. Like he's taller than um, Soundwave. And, well, let's do some comparison before I apply the decals. So here's Cyber Battalion Shockwave with Siege Soundwave with Laserbeak, Bossbot Earthrise Megatron, and fellow genius Wheeljack. I think the scaling is pretty off. So that was Shockwave before I applied the Toy Hex decals, and I cannot wait to apply those. Okay, let's take a look at Cyber Battalion Shockwave after I've applied the decals. And they weren't all easy, honestly. There wasn't that many, but some of them also are duplicates of others. So like there's a A, B and C version for uh, a sticker. So you don't apply everything. Uh, the leftover sheet, uh, I just wanna keep uh, to remind me to show you a couple things. First off, uh, you get decals for the shoulder here and here. That's a good enhancement. New decals for the arms to show his allegiance even more. You get a replacement decal here. Basically, you apply a purple um, underlay over the existing decals and then you reapply another decal on top of it. And these silver highlights here were actually really hard to uh, to apply. And um, 
there was three options for the chess you could have this which obviously you can see i tried first then you had this purple metallic one with some i don't know i don't know if it's battle damage or just smudge but i preferred that um I don't know if I can probably show, but it's reflective uh, cell shaded. I really like the looks of that one, so I, I decided to go. I saw it afterwards. I applied the silver one and I saw, oh, there's a C option, which is rather rare. But uh, couldn't, uh, couldn't pass that up because I love the cell shaded look. You have two options for the eyes. You have the gold one that I chose, but you also have a little red dot if you prefer that. Um, those highlight uh, over here. Everything shines so much, it reflects the light a lot, but there you go. And uh, is there anything easy to spot in robot mode? Uh, no, I think that's it. So let me transform it. Wrong, Autobot! Not unless you can fly! In vehicle mode, he's not much to look at, honestly. Look at that. I mean, paint, there's paint, you know, so it's purple plastic or purple paint. Don't know, don't care. Silver paint here. I mean, he's a, a vehicle, you know, it kind of, you know, the front end kind of looks like the gun he was. Uh, there's a landing gear, so that's kind of good. There's no, it's no pegging for this part here. So basically what you do is you just put the leg together. Uh, you flip around the head in the back and it gives you this awful thing that doesn't peg so it's always loose and the arms they actually show you in the instruction to leave the arms like that i like to bend them a little bit uh, so that when he's you know he's resting it looks like maybe i don't know there's some more support yeah he's really not great in uh, alt mode but let's take a look at him with the decals maybe it's gonna improve him a bit but just before the decals let's compare him with a couple things buzzwordy bumblebee origin bumblebee cybertronian mode versus cybertronian mode kingdom slammer studio series 86 cup another cybertronian mode and kingdom cyclonus a much better alt mode and now back from toy axing in alt mode you have some nice added details so they give you uh, a highlight for the front of the ship which kind of match the silver uh option here that uh, for the chest but uh i prefer this uh cell shaded stuff you have uh, little highlights here this you have two options you can either do a decepticon logo or you have some uh, steel plates i went with the logo because i saw it first and i didn't even notice this one at first uh, this translates from the robot mode. You have this highlight here on each wing. And then you get some tail lights. Let's, for like spaceship tail lights. Uh, here and here. And then of course you have the golden dot that translates from. Uh, or maybe I should twist that. Hold on. Uh, yep. Makes more sense. And see, it doesn't peg. I wish it pegged. All right. That's uh, the front end, uh, the back end of the spaceship mode. So there you go, guys. Shockwave Cyber Battalion, fully toy axed, in alt mode. I mean, just, I hate when these arms are loose like that. So like I said, not much to look at, but I do think that the decals improve him at least 50%. So let's put him back in uh, robot mode for final uh, comparison. Shockwave! What is your command, Megatron? Okay, well, here's a final look at Shockwave after I've done everything. And I think he's a better display set for it. And uh, I love the cell shaded uh, window there. I love the toy hacks set for him. I'm surprised that they actually did toy hacks for this because I've never seen anybody review this figure before. And I was like, oh, okay, so they really do look at everything and try to improve everything. So kudos to Toy Hacks for that. So there you go, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. I love reading those. And remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care.